Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing our last Q&A leading up to the premiere for The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 10. That is called New Best Friends. First question for this one is, do we think Negan is actually going to catch Daryl? Hmm. And spoiler warning, of course, if you're not cut up for Walking Dead, so pretty excited for tonight. Should be another really good episode and a good half. So first question for this one came from Eric uh, McGrath, who says, Trev Q and Q, Q&A, bro, Q&A. Do you think Negan's line, catch a tiger by his toe and pointing to Daryl when uh, he says this is foreshadowing of him catching Daryl at the kingdom around Shiva? You know, I never thought about that. So, so any meaning, mighty mo, catch a tiger by the toe. I never noticed the line has tiger in it. And then, of course, later on we see Shiva. Uh, that's kind of neat. I wonder if it's a coincidence or if it was intentional on the part of Kirkman to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, but for the TV series, that's a good question. So what do we think is going to happen with Daryl? Do we think that uh, Negan is actually going to catch him? Um, I don't think so, personally. I don't, I, I don't see that right now. Because well, what would they do? Because if he did catch him, then they'd put him back in the cell or something again. Because you wouldn't really want to see uh, Negan kill Daryl. So, you know, it would be bad for the show if they did that. So, I mean, I can't see him catching Daryl. I feel like now that Daryl's, uh, you know, Daryl's gotten away... Uh, he's gotten away, and he shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be caught again. But that's a cool little kind of um, you know I don't say coincidence, but like a, uh, that, that's interesting, Eric. That that you that you pointed that out. Maybe we're looking into it too much. I think we are, um, but uh, that's kind of neat though when when you think about it. But I don't think that that Negan and the Savers are going to find Daryl. I really don't think so. Um, Daryl is one of those characters that can survive on very little, and especially now that he's got a crossbow again, uh, and he's going to be super careful about being seen by probably anybody. Uh, I don't think that they're going to catch him, no. But I do think he'll be reunited with Carol pretty soon, hopefully. Um, Next question. You guys can write your comments below on what you think will happen with Daryl and whether or not you think we'll see him get uh, captured again by the Saviors. Laura Lex says, Hey, Trev, have you heard that Michael Cudlitz has been cast in an ABC cop dramedy pilot, The Trustee? Uh, just keeping you updated. So thanks, Laura Lex. Uh, I did not hear about that. And there's some other casting and stuff in this in this Q&A as well, too. So we'll, we'll give my thoughts on each one as we get to it. You guys can write yours uh, you know, in the comments below. Uh, but I think Michael Cudlitz is... is amazing i think he's very talented he's very funny he's uh you know he's able to do the drama and everything so he's a really great actor and, and i'm really going to miss seeing him especially his banter between him and eugene on the uh, the tv series and i think he's a genuinely funny guy so that's fun so uh maybe i'll check it out maybe i'll check out the new series once it uh, airs whenever that uh, drops um the trustee it's called eh? okay all right all right well keep an eye out for it and if i do watch it i'll definitely do at least a review for the premiere which is what i do for a lot of these series where you're just not sure if the series is going to go or going to fly or get a second season. Who knows? Um, but I, I would like to see that. I'd like to see that. Cool. Uh, Matt Lick says, uh, Hey, Trav, I've been reading some theories online that Morales and his family were members of a church. Is it possible that him and Gabriel were friends? <laughs> no more Morales questions. Why do I keep putting them in? I don't know. I just, I guess I'm masochistic like that in some way. I must have some underlying guilt there somewhere, right? Uh, Life of an Indie Girl says, Q&A, Trev, uh, do you think Rick will ever return to the badassery of Season 5 with the beard and the neck biting? Uh, love your videos. Keep it up. Uh, yeah, I think you're right for both. I think we're going to see Rick get super badass uh, near the end of the season. Maybe they'll purposefully have him grow the beard back because the war is coming. And during the war, he should have a long beard because he looks more kind of badass with it and everything. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I think uh, I think we'll see some more neck biting from Rick in the uh, the future. Uh, <laughs> so uh, maybe some eye gouging, neck biting, you know, fighting dirty. It's, uh, it's fun. Good stuff. Uh, grabbing dicks and stuff. No, <laughs> that's a little too much. Um, although pretty effective in a street fight, to be honest. Um, just, you know, you kind of squeeze really hard, right? No, I, don't even, I don't even know where I am right now. Um, <laughs> Jay Cooper says, Hey, Trav, what do you think about the news that the Love Actually, that they're going to do a Love Actually sequel? Uh, Andrew Lincoln will be in it. So, Jake, is that really true, Jake? Is that, is that really true? i got to look this stuff up. I'm just going based on messages from you guys. I should have looked it up before. But, uh, oh, I, I worked like crazy today. I'm exhausted. Uh, so I'm not going to. But with Love Actually, if he actually did get cast for that, like if he was going to do a movie, 
Um, you know, I mean, they could probably swing it with the TV series. It probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But to be honest, I like to see Andrew Lincoln 100% uh, dedicated to Walking Dead. Um, you know, I think it's his career's work. So, I mean, it's one of the best TV series ever. And he's the lead in it. I mean, there's lots of movies out there. There's lots of romantic comedies that hit all the time and stuff like this. And it's like, whatever, dude. In 20 years, no one's going to remember that stuff. Or at least, well... I mean, some people might remember certain ones that they like a lot. But for me, it's like, oh, you get leading role in Walking Dead. I mean, come on, dude. That series is going to be remembered forever. It's like The Sopranos or something. You know, people look back on that. They still remember it. Or Game of Thrones when that ends, right? Same type of deal. Ross Johnson says, hey, Trav, uh, did you see Corey Hawkins is in the new Kong movie? And will you be reviewing the movie? So for Ross, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be reviewing Kong. I probably won't even watch it. A uh, Kong movie, really? I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not hating on Kong. I mean, I like uh, Planet of the Apes and stuff. That's cool. And actually, the new one looks really good. I like the whole uh, Caesar thing they got going on. That's actually really well handled, to be honest. Uh, but I haven't seen anything about the uh, new Kong movie as of yet. Um, I don't think I've seen a trailer or anything for that, if they have a trailer. So, uh, I mean, you know, I'll look into certain things from certain cast members of The Walking Dead after they're, uh, they're finished with Walking Dead uh, or they're working on other stuff in, in between. But, um, I mean, he just plays Heath. It's not like, you know... He plays Rick or Shane or, or Daryl or something, or Negan, right? So it's like, yeah, whatever. Um, number 82 says, I was just thinking, I reckon it would be cool if once the show is finished, they release a movie uh, that could be based on the Here's Negan comics. Uh, what do you think, Trev? Uh, so I don't think they really, this is something that comes up from time to time in Q&As over the last few years. I don't think they would need to do a movie, to be honest with you, because I think the TV series for Walking Dead is so big and they get so many viewers, they probably make plenty on that to begin with that they might not need to put it in theaters. But would I be down to see like a Negan flashback movie or something? Oh, shit, yeah. Um, but would other people be down for it? I don't know. Like, would people pay to go to the theaters to see it? That's a big question. I'm sure it could do at least a little bit, um, you know, but... I want to see it either way. They'll probably put uh, the Negan flashback sequences in the show itself. So we probably wouldn't see it separate. Uh, plus, you know, their, their release schedule, they're doing like 17, 18 episodes a season when you account for the uh, extended episodes, right? 16 episodes, but a lot of them are extended, so it's more like 18 or 17 a year. That's probably as much as they can do. And if they wanted to do a movie, they'd have to, like, delay the show. And I don't want to see that either. So for, for, to be honest, forget it. Let's just keep go, rolling with Walking Dead as usual uh, for me anyway. Trash Tan Rules says, Hey, Travis, so in the junkyard, a new camp sneak peek. I noticed quite a few really tall guys in the group. Could one of them be a beta later on down the road? Thanks, and keep out the great work. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about, dude. There's some pretty big ones, right? When they walk through the little tunnel part there, uh, there's a couple guys that look like they're at least 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, something like that, and that would be cool to see. Uh, I don't think any of them will end up being beta, but it, it's not it's not a bad thing to keep in mind when you see zombies out there. And, you know, because, uh, like, what did somebody say? Oh, if you think taking out one zombie would be hard, then you'd never survive in a zombie apocalypse. But it's like, you know, not all zombies are equal. You know, if you get a six foot seven you know, <laughs> a zombie coming after you. It'd be pretty hard to kill the thing, right? Because you're going to be, like, reaching up and trying to stab for its head, right? Leverage because it's coming down on you and stuff. Um, yeah, no, I mean, that's uh, that's a pretty big advantage. That would be... Uh, that'd be difficult to take down some super tall walkers so um but no i don't think any of them will end up being beta uh jason whitcroft says uh, Trev, do you think uh, rick may have seen heath at the end of episode nine so when he smiles and stuff so no i don't think it's heath i don't think it's morales i don't think it's uh gabriel i think he's just smiling because of the amount of people he's seeing um Black on Black, Iceman says, Trev, did you notice that Benjamin's actor is from the movie Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse? So, no, I didn't. I have seen that, too. It's pretty funny. If you guys have never seen Scout's Guide to the uh, Zombie Apocalypse, it's, uh, it's goofy, especially if you're, like, um, around the ages, anywhere between... 13 to probably 20, 21. You'll probably like it. If you're older than that, you might not like it because a lot of it's kind of silly, teenage, you know, craziness, that kind of stuff. Um, there's a pretty funny scene, one of them, where like this, uh, I think it's like a police officer or something, some kind of zombie, and it's a female. She's freshly turned and stuff, and she's got like huge implants, right? And uh, the zombies at the gate like grab her and rip her <laughs> It's ridiculous. Anyway, just watch the movie. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty funny. 
Uh, Big Steve says, but I never noticed that. That's really kind of trippy because I have seen the movie. It's a pretty funny movie. Uh, Big Steve says, hey, Trev, could you do a video of all your predictions and the actual outcomes so we can see how close you were? I think you made a lot of prediction videos that were probably or predictions that were probably right. So for Big Steve, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of ones that are, you know, correct and a lot of ones that obviously aren't correct. I mean, I've been doing weekly video prediction videos since like season three, two, something like that. Um, so I couldn't make like a compilation of it because it'd be like six days long or something or five days long. Uh, but you know, you can always go back through the channel and check and you know, see death predictions are always fun. You can go back and watch those if you want, uh, for which characters I think we're going to get killed off. Uh, I was wrong about lots of them. I thought Carol was going to get killed off and actually she was, but they changed their mind and they kept her on. So, um, you know, there was Carol who was changed and, uh, you know, I mean, I've had lots of predictions be right, but lots of ones have been wrong as, as well too, you know, so it's just, uh, it's just what it is. Um, um, you know, it's the nature of the beast. Uh, Mustafa Smooth says, uh, Trev, do you think that Carl will be the one to kill Simon? So that would be cool. So you want to see Carl kill Simon because they did have kind of the face-off, look look at each other type of thing, flick the hat type of deal uh, in Alexandria just recently. Uh, Simon doesn't really have beef with anybody right now from what I can think of. He had the most uh, dialogue, I think, with Rick so far, right, of talking back and forth and that kind of stuff. So uh, it would be cool to see uh, somebody kill Simon, <laughs> right? Uh, if it's Carl, if it's Rick, whoever it is, uh, it'll be cool. So uh, that's what I'm expecting. Again, there's a prediction right there that I think Simon will be killed off within the next year or two. Um, could I be wrong about that? Well, sure. Um, but I do think that's what uh, is going to happen. Again, it's just based on what I think and, uh, you know, feel and that kind of stuff. Uh, G DJ Suddy one says, Hey, Trav, have you checked out 24 Legacy with Heath um, of The Walking Dead? So I haven't seen it yet. No, I haven't seen 24 Legacy. Um but I might check it out because, uh, you know, I have heard that it's a good show. So maybe I will. But again, like I said earlier, you know, it's just Heath. It's not like, you know, John Berthal or something, uh, you know, somebody I really, really would want to see. Uh, Mi Mikhail Sadowski says, Hey, Trev, uh, what do you think about Rick and the new group visiting the hospital community where Beth died to get help, guns or something? Do you think it could be possible? Uh, I would be so excited to see that. The distance is too far, uh, Mikkel. I don't think we'll ever see that again because it, they would have to travel so far, it wouldn't be worth it because traveling that distance... You know, you're going to put yourself at a lot of risk and uh, you could have characters die in the process, right? You could do runs that are a lot shorter that would be more fruitful more quickly. Plus, you know, they're not just going to give over their resources to you uh, probably without, you know, willingly unless they're in a bad state or something and they need you. And then they need your help and then they, maybe they want to go with you or something. So I, I don't know. I, I don't think we'll ever see that group ever again in the show. No, I don't think so. I think it's meant to be kind of forgotten. It's just a stopping point. Kind of like the Vatos or something. Even though we did get to see what happened to the Vatos after in a deleted scene. Uh, they're all dead. Um, last one will be from James Mundell, who says, Hey, Trev, question for you. I believe Morgan will be the one to betray Rick and the others because he is the moral compass of the show, and he has the mindset that uh, Rick has after Rick does to Negan in the comics and all at war ends. Okay, so he gets into some other things. So basically he thinks that Morgan is going to be the one to betray the group because he's going to want to stop the casualties and that kind of deal. Um, you know, I mean, he was the one who said that one of the characters was going to betray the group. Now, was he, in an interview, Lenny James said this, was he referring to Gabriel or was he kind of like misleading us sort of or is something going to come up where someone's going to betray them pretty soon? We'll have to see, man. I mean, for Morgan, do I think he would? I don't think so. I kind of get what you're saying with the idea that maybe he could do it to try to save, you know, people's lives overall and stop the war. But he does care for Rick as well, too. And like Rick said, you know, they do go back to the beginning. So, or did Morgan say that? I forget. Um, but either way, I mean, I don't think he would do that to, to Rick. I really don't think so. Uh, all right, that'll be it for today's uh, Q&A, guys. So if you didn't get your question through, I apologize. But feel free to send me uh, one tonight after tonight's episode when you check back for the review and predictions and all the good, all the usual good stuff. Uh, and I'll try to get it in for uh, for next week. I'm going to go pass out. That's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please thumb it up. You can also share and favorite. And uh, if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one. See you guys tonight. It's Trev saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon. Just subscribe somehow. <laughs>